Hi. So the Ferraris up front again. All Williams second row. Raikkonen's late charge puts him above Button and Coulthard and Trulli and Frenson completing the top ten. No Minardis and 20 go as Eddie Irvine starts at the back of the grid after fuel irregularities in his Jaguar. And race day problems for Ferrari in morning warm-up. There's the unusual sight of Michael Schumacher's car stranded and getting a tow. And after his excellent qualifying, the unlucky Rubens Barrichello fails to get the engine in gear. 19 go then, watched by Martin Brundle and James Allen. Eddie Irvine, the last car on the grid, then we're going to be racing here in Barcelona. It's one kilometre from where Michael Schumacher is now until turn one. He'll be doing 170 miles an hour when he gets there. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Go! Great start by Schumacher. And where's Jensen Button? He's attacking Montoya from the rear. Ralph Schumacher's away well. Look at Button. He's ahead of both of the McLarens. Yes, and uh, Button, of course, starting sick. Ralph Schumacher having a look at the back of Michael as he went into turn one, but Michael with a clear lead then. No dramas that we can see at this time. Both Renaults did get away from the line very, very well. But one of the McLarens has got Button back. It may well be Kimi Raikkonen, who started in fifth place on the grid, got him into turn one, but Jensen had got him on the run down to the uh, to turn one. But Michael Schumacher still leading this race as we try and get Rubens Barrichello moving, and this sense of urgency is seeping away now, seeping away from the team. Rubens is still urgent. He wants to get in there. And the worst feeling in the world, James, is when you're sitting in that car in the pit lane with drama and you hear the engine revs rise on the grid and you just feel like the whole world is leaving without you and Barrichello still stranded as Michael Schumacher leads Ralph Schumacher, Montoya, Raikkonen, Button, Coulthard, Truly, Heidfeld, Massa and Frentzen round out the top ten. Both Saubers, Heidfeld and Massa, that's very impressive. Raikkonen out-qualifying Coulthard, last year's winner. Button starts 13th, his worst of the season. In front of McNish, that's his best. A horrible session for Jordan. Irvine's Jaguar ahead of the Minardis. It's the best of the Austrian Grand Prix then with Mark Blundell and James Allen. A lot to play for from front to back of the grid here at the A1 ring in Austria. We're waiting for Alex Jung to form up on the back of the grid. He's there now. You know the drill, folks. You get five lights, and when they go off, we'll be rocking and rolling in the Styrian mountains. The revs are rising now. You ready? You ready? You ready? Go! A terrific start by Ralph Schumacher, but Rubens is away well with two. Oh, Rubens, look at that. Amazing. Michael Schumacher's alongside Ralph. He's squeezing him out. Rubens takes a wide line into turn one. Michael Schumacher, he's ahead of his brother, and one of the Sabres is up well as well. Schumacher away like a rocket ship. Unbelievable start, great stuff. Everybody's through that first corner, nice and clean, but there could be some issues here coming into turn two. A lot of the guys at the back of the grid, especially, are running on light tanks of fuel. Well, what's happening with Ralph Schumacher? He's gone from second to fourth, and we've got contact there. One of the arrows, it looks like Jacques Villeneuve has hit. Heinz Aaron Fredson, and that's really bad news for the arrows who were going very strongly in qualifying yesterday and looking for another point to follow up from their run in Spain. But Barrichello leading for Michael Schumacher, Heidfeld is third, Ralph Schumacher fourth, Montoya fifth, Raikkonen up to sixth, Coulthard up to seventh, so good start from both of the McLaren drivers. Yeah, now we're just coming down slightly here, the two Ferraris already taking the commanding lead, probably about a second, second and a half, a little bit of action there, looks like Jensen Butler at that point, trying to get up the inside of uh, Nick Heinfeld, but we're coming into the Jochenrink curve, and everything's smooth. I think it's Massa he was attacking, that's a battle for ninth place, and they've swapped places twice now, and that's Bernoldi in the arrows, who's got a damaged front wing. I just saw it passing in the, in the, through the frame, and I'm sure he'll be diving into the pits any time now, as Rubens Barrichello comes through to complete lap one ahead of his teammate, and you have to say, Michael Schumacher does look as though he's on the attack, no question about that. Every 10 kilos of fuel is worth just under three-tenths of a second a lap around this circuit, so... The difference between a two-stop and a one-stop load as Bernoldi comes in, indeed, to replace that front wing, is just under a second a lap, so we should very quickly see who, are, who is carrying the lighter fuel load. Very clean start. Michael Schumacher, exceptional off the line. The guy's a little bit uh, concerned in the middle of the grid there. Inside comes Villeneuve up behind as well, coming into the first turn, creates a little bit of a, uh, a breaking issue for most of the guys, but they all get through clean, amazingly so. I thought there'd be uh, some more issues with that outside racetrack there, but Heinfeld is exactly uh, coming up very strong. Massa gets blocked off behind him, and he's the guy who makes the most of the first corner. Just goes around the outside, nice and clean. 
he pulled off the best start of that. On board with Juan Montoro in fourth place on the grid, and you can see what happened at the start. It was a decent start by Barrichello, but just look how well Michael got away on the outside on the left there. And this is Nick Heidfeld coming in on our left as we approach the top, and Montoya lost two places, three ba made that three places into turn one. You can see Raikkonen running wide, so Montoya was able to recover. 